I'm back. And today, you know what really grinds my gears? Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I'm just going to talk about two different people I used to know. A keys. Now, keys is for mentally and physically disabled people. Not for girls that just are like me. I mean, the only reason why I didn't learn stuff was because my mom gave me a hard time when I was trying to learn stuff. I know schoolwork. When I was in school, I was given baby work. But I knew more than most of the kids in the class did. But they still put me in the stupid class. Now, there's a difference between being stupid and being mentally ill. Mentally ill people or mentally challenged people or developmentally delayed people, they have a hard time learning. But doesn't mean they can't learn. And then there's the really severe people that can learn certain things but not everything and then there's the just plain stupid people which are the people that refuse to learn don't know how to listen to learn and pretty much seem like they lived under a rock because they know like nothing about the world such as the people that only know their video games and manga comics. So, there's this one guy. And he is a super nerd that only knows manga and video games. A nerd, he's not a nerd. He's just a geek. A nerd is a smart person. All he's smart with is pretty much just his video games and manga comics. If you ask him about anything that's happening in the world or how to do a certain thing that has to do with not video games or manga, he won't know what you're talking about. Then, there's the just dumb about everything people. There is one guy. I'm going to call him Gary the Zombie Man. Because he looks like a zombie. Acts like a zombie. Has piercing zombie eyes. And as dumb as a zombie. Then there's Maria the flytrap face. She refuses to learn. She says I can't do this. I can't do that. And then when she does it. She can do it. She just needs a little help. But most of the time. She can zip right through it. But. When it comes to other stuff. She's just plain stupid. So, I'm going to talk about these people now. Okay, first is Gary. Gary. Why, why, why did I have to be put in the cla same class with him? When all he does is stare at me. With a look that looks like, I want to eat your brains. He's proof that zombies exist, and he's probably king of the zombies, the one that will start the apocalypse. Then, he has a girl that is in the same bowling team as him, who is even more zombie-like. I'm gonna show you how she walks. I'm gonna look like a weirdo, but I'm gonna show you anyways. <laughs> What? I didn't want to record yet. Can you work? Can you get me in? Making a zombie walk? 
I don't even know if you can. Okay, well she walks with her arms like this. On her s like this, on her side, hunched over with her tongue sticking out. And she stares right through it and comes right towards you. Does that not sound like a zombie to you? Two zombies in the same bowling team. It should just be called the zombie team. The zombie bowling. Zombie bowling. Zombie bowling. Zombie bowling. I want your brains! I'm under the blankets now because I'm like cold. And good thing I didn't keep that window open today because it cold me up. It cold. It was like warm all night and then it just got like really cold in this room. Like freezing. This whole house is cold most of the time. And she's like, I think you're crazy. I'm like, I oh, know, it's really cold in here. You just can't tell. Because you're always sweating and doesn't matter what you do, you sweat. Wow. Anyways, back to the story. So Gary, one day, the first day came in my class. I knew there wasn't some, there was something different about him. And not that he was mentally challenged. He had that dog look on his face all the time. Stares right through you. And I just felt the big dark energy with him. And then I found out he used to be in Senecare, which is a crazy house. Which I've been in before just to talk to people. Not because I'm crazy to talk to people about other stuff. I see my eyes. Those are vampire eyes. Stop moving eyes. See them? Those are vampire eyes. My hair looks very weird. But these were zombie eyes. Blue. Really blue. There's another girl who had like husky blue eyes. But they weren't creepy. They were like really pretty. There's something sketchy about this guy's eyes. They were not human. Like mine aren't human. Mine are vampire eyes. Because I'm a vampire. I'm serious guys. These change color too. Right now they're like orange okay that looks like reptilian okay stop focusing on my vampire eyes so they were just ice blue Zombie eyes. Dead eyes. They were dead eyes. And when I was in Surrey Care, I felt so much dark energy. I'm like, this is where possessed people go when people don't believe they're possessed. And yes, you can... Yes. Come in there. You know half the people are possessed. You can feel it. You can see it. And you can hear it too because one guy let out a blood curdling not a scream. It was a like a screech, like a pterodactyl. And I'm like mm, I can't even make that noise. No one can probably someone could but this was a demonic scream. And I started crying and I was, finally my mom came out. I was crying and I'm like, get me out of here. 
And she's like, okay, honey, we're leaving. I'm like, this, there's too much dark energy in this place. Every single one of these people are possessed. Well, not everyone was, because I felt light energy off some people too. So, zombies, demons, and vampires are real people. And ghosts. So, maybe even werewolves. I think I'm a hybrid between a vampire and a werewolf. I was born a werewolf and turned into a vampire. So yeah. Enough about me and the supernatural beings. More about, you know, stupid, 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 stupid people. Okay. People say, no, stupid is just when you do stupid things, but no, stupid is when you don't know one thing and don't, like you've been living under a rock, like, come on. Yep, back. Um, so, he's like, oh, she, how old is she? They're like three, three months old, and like, she's talking and walking, how the heck is she three months old, you dumb piece of dirt? Oh, there's too many of these people in the world. Oh, by the way, he used to be in Seneca. I think I said that, but... Oh, God. Zombies went there, too. Not just demonic possessed people. Zombies, too. Oh, I bet there's vampires in there, too. But, like, the psychotic ones that bite people. And the werewolves that eat flesh. Okay, I don't think werewolves do that. Werewolves just act like dogs are extremely hairy. Love to howl at the moon. Two things. And have a strong connection with animals. That's pretty much the signs of being a werewolf. And having golden eyes. But now mine are more gold. Because I'm now half vampire. Right now you can't really see that they're not gold right now, they're orange. Because I just ate and I turned orange after I ate. So, anyways. To Maria. Okay, she is Flytrap Face. I don't know if you saw my video Flytrap Face, but she is her. She does this. But I can't do the not in this world face. Like, when she does it she's like not in this world she's just zoned right out like Patrick on Spongebob <laughs> what do you say no <laughs> my brain turned up <laughs> Okay, not like that, but like this. And sometimes she's like this. Like she's gonna say something, but she can't get the words out. Because her brain has a brain fart, like all the time. So, she's a hypochondriac. She thinks everything in the book is wrong with her. One time she said, oh, I have missing toes, so I have to wear special shoes. Like, you have missing toes? What the heck? They had to take them. M okay. Probably because you had an infection and didn't take care of it. So they had to chop your feet off because you had gangrene. But then she said, oh, I have a big gouging sore on my foot. I can't walk. And it's been there for like a month. I'm like, uh... 
Yeah, right. You're just making excuses so you don't have to walk far, and you're not even walking far. Oh. And then she's like... I have this, I have that, I have this, I have that. I have everything in the book wrong with me. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. Everything in your head is wrong with you. As in all the brain disorders you can have you have. <laughs> Same here. Ha! Huh. I've got everything wrong with me. What happened to my eye? <laughs> what ow? If you put the lens on there, it gleams off my eye and then it's like a big giant cataract. Whoa, I just got a dizzy spell. It's those, that weed kicking in. <laughs> no, I don't smoke weed. Damn it, Misty, call. So, my worker hasn't called yet to get times. And I gotta do something after this. Like, I don't know, draw maybe, I don't know. So, Maria and Gary, and the difference between stupid and mentally challenged. That is that. Till next time. Bye-bye.